Hola bosses, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to be learning how to cut and sew this simple and beautiful long pencil skirt with slits at the back. If that sounds like something you're interested in, do make sure to keep on watching and let's get started. So to make this, you'll be needing your fabric, you'll be needing zipper, and you'll also be needing learning piece. So we are going to show the learning, yeah? So I'm going to start by working on the front first. I have my fabric folded in two, and to know the amount of fabric you'll be needing, my hip measures is 36. 36 divided by 4 gives 9. Adding two inches of allowance gives 11. So I have my fold right here measuring 11, as you can see. Then the next thing to consider will be the length. The length of this skirt I intend making measures 43 inches. So to this 43 inches now, I want that part in the pencil scale that kind of overlaps. So you are seeing the fabric inside, right? So I'll be adding one and a half inches for that, giving me 44 and a half. And I'll be adding half inch to the top to hem the waistline. So in total, I should be having 45 inches. So yeah, I place my tape onto my fabric. The way that I had 45 inches at that end point right there. So this wrapper is basically longer than 45, as you can see. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut off the excesses that's right there. So yeah, now that that is done, the first thing to do will be to mark off my half inch of allowance that I said I added for the top. Yeah, and all our measurements will be taken from that half inches right there. And you can see that when I place my tape at my half inch mark right there, everything I have there is measuring for a four and a half, right? Which is perfect. So when I fold off my one and a half, I have my exact length. So from there, you mark your hip measure, hip line that measures nine inches. And still from that half inch mark, I mark my knee line that measures 21 inches. Row straight line at both points. And then the next thing between insert my measurement. My waist measures 24. 24 divided by 4 gives 6 inches so go ahead and mark out 6 inches like so so to that 6 inches i'll be adding 1 inch for that that intake and i'll be adding 2 inch for sewing allowance yeah so for the hip as well my hip measure 36 like i said before divided by 4 gives 9 adding 2 inches of sewing allowance good so now go ahead and connect from your waistline to your hip line like so good so now when you measure that hip part together with allowance measures 11 right so you'll be coming in by one and a half inches towards your knee line connect from the hip to the knee line and then also when you measure the knee line you have nine and a half come in by half inch at the hem that's at the end of the skirt that's give you nine mark like so and connect from the knee line to the hem of the skirt and yeah so now i'm just going to go ahead and mark off my one and a half inches of allowance that i added to the top and then you fold it at that part the reason why i'm doing this is just to have the exact shape of the skirt because if i cut it before folding it's not going to match up so fold it like so and then extend your line like so and then you go ahead and you cut these out and that's it for the front pattern the next thing now will be to work on the back so for the back i've also gone ahead to fold my fabric in two and as you can see i marked like a straight line there right so that line is my zipper allowance line that measures two inches good so now at that line that i marked go ahead and place your front pattern onto it like so and you cut out exactly what you have on the front pattern onto the back pattern and also go ahead to open up the zipper allowance and the next thing now will be to determine the opening so for mine i wanted mine to be 18 because i didn't want it to get to my knee point because i feel like it would be too revealing so you do that and then you go ahead to cut but you can see that i'm not cutting exactly at my zipper allowance line right so you give half of an inch like so and then you cut good so the next thing will be to mark my that line so for my dad it'd be basically three inches from my center front and then i go ahead to not where the dart is going to be at yeah and yeah that's basically it for the cutting the next thing i will to work on our learning right so before you can go ahead to cut your learning fold your down portion by the allowance you needing right good so now when i folded mine i was having exactly 43 inches that i wanted that's because i started from my um half inches i gave up but when you add everything from the top you see you'll be having 43 and a half right 
good so now you can see that i have full stop at 42 when i'm cutting out my line i'm cutting 43 so add one inch to wherever the fold stops at i've gone ahead to cut out my learning and like i said you can see my learning measuring 43 inches like so yes so now for the learning go ahead and place it right sides facing each other yes then you go ahead and you sew the bottom part by half of an inch so after you're done sewing the bottom part you're going to now lift it so you lift it in a way that the lining and gets to the top basically like to your waistline do you get good so you lift it up in a way that learning gets to your waistline and also this um zipper allowance part and the slit at the back ensuring that the learning matches with the main fabric you sew from the bottom all to that zipper side and then you sew back up and you also be sewing the waistline for that neat waist finishing and yeah also for the front i'm gonna have to cut at the learning 43 inches also Place your lining onto your fabric, right sides facing each other. Sew the bottom by half of an inch and you also sew the top. So after I was done with the back, to turn it inside out, I'm basically going to be knotting that part like so. This is just so it's easy to turn out and I don't have like any fold, do you get me? So turn this inside out. You can see me making use of scissors to like bring out the sharp edges, right? So you do that and then you give this a good press so after i was done giving it a good press this is right here i went ahead to just close up that side and this is what both back pieces are looking like go ahead and you place your back piece onto each other like so and basically what we are doing here is just to extend or mark our zipper allowance basically which is two inches right so do it, draw it like so from there i'll be marking nine inch because that's where my zipper is going to be stopping at you get me so like so now i want to create this bot contour so from the zipper allowance line you mark half inch and you connect it just like you see me do from the waistline to that half inch right there and from the half inch down so basically you sew from that part that my hand is down and then you insert your zipper after i was inserting my zipper this is what it's looking like i just cut off the excesses and this is what it's looking like on the right side the next thing which insert are darts like i said three inches from the center right so mark your three inches and at that marked point you fold it over like so and then um, for mine i'm making it of four inches for the length of the dart marked half inch at the top right there and connect it like so and then i go ahead to sew repeat the same thing for the other back side and also for the front after i was done inserting my dart for the back this is what it's looking like Turn it over to the right side and you place the front onto it like so. I've also inserted my dart. And what you do next is basically to go ahead and mark off your allowances based off your measurements. Connect it together like so all through to the hem, basically the down part of the skirt. And then you go ahead and you sew do the same thing on the other side. And after I was done, this is what it was looking like, looking so cute, so beautiful so i hope you guys enjoyed the video i hope you learned if you did do not forget to like subscribe turn on post notifications so you don't miss out on future videos and regarding the top i paired the skirt with the tutorial is already up on the channel i'll be leaving the link in the description box below you can do well to check that out thank you for watching once again bye bye and i'll see you in my next video